Today we shall see how to apply hover property to HTML table to spice it up a bit. Save the file with .html extension. Uh, go with the regular HTML skeleton. Now the actual table coding. It's HTML4 syntax. Table slash table t head slash t head t footer t foot slash t foot the closing tag and the final t body and the closing t body tag. This is our syntax. By the way, this is HTML4 syntax of the table. I will take three items inside T head. I will call Apple, Microsoft and Google. In the footer, I will take three TD tags as well and give some numbers, random numbers. In T body, I'll rather take two TR tags. Let me have two row of elements, so two TR tags. Inside that, I'll take three TD tags, three items each in a row. Ctrl C for copy, Ctrl V for paste for Windows user users. So this is our T body and inside that we have two TR tags which contains three TD elements. So we'll divide this up. Don't worry much about these things. Just know the structure of the table. That's it. Okay, save the file and have a look in the browser. This is our table. We designed it just now. This is bare minimal table design. We will apply CSS to it, so be patient. This is our T footer foot and this is our body inside that we have two tr elements we are highlighting it as well now we shall start with the css styling save the file make sure you give dot css file extension dot css represents cascading style sheet so whatever we write inside this block applies to the entire body of the HTML. So the font family I take here is Vordana and the font size is let it be 24 pixels. And the table width is 400 pixels. Let me first connect this style sheet to the HTML source code file. This is very important. So Pay extra attention to this line link the type of the link is text slash CSS and the HR of the location of the file is style dot CSS remember we have saved this file in the same directory where the HTML file is located relation rel is equal to style sheet save the file now look at the HTML file okay whatever property we wrote inside that style.css file is applied to this table now html table now okay we will continue now or t head which is highlighted here in green will apply styling information to that t head tag so font weight is bold or strong save it refresh Okay, now let's apply the same 
to T foot which is highlighted in green here in the HTML page save it now refresh okay now let's apply some hover property here T head colon hover now let's change the background color here background hyphen color let's make it blue save the file let's take a look okay. the problem is the wording itself kind of disappears so let's make it red save the file again refresh okay red looks fine now you can also change the color of the text itself let's do it you can apply multiple styling property to the same element once the mouse is hovered over T head will change the background color as well as the text color will change text color to blue okay it is applied let's do the same for T foot tag T foot colon hover it is pseudo property it is called like that now I'll just copy and paste these informations let's change this background color to yellow let the text color be blue itself save the file refresh yellow okay let's do the similar thing for T body as well let's do it quick T body hover I'll paste it control V for Windows users and change the background color to green green looks good so refresh so it turns green the purpose is it clearly distinguishes the logical parts of the table T head being red T body being green and T foot being yellow how much let there be n number of rows inside T body it will turn green hence distinguishing the logical partition of the table if you want to highlight each row in the table just do this that's it the color still distinguishes the logical partition of that table so don't worry about this I'll explain this let's this is TR inside T body so I'll explain it later once again let me start with the HTML table let me bring up this HTML file too so that I can highlight and explain so that you can understand what I am talking about so the table entire table is here inside that we have T head which is highlighted here in yellow T head contains three items Apple Microsoft and Google three foot contains three elements as well four three and six T body contains two rows highlighted in green here individually which contains three three elements as well and this is very important line which connects your style sheet to your HTML5 this is very very important and crucial because whatever you write in this style sheet must apply to your HTML document so this inside this whatever we write applies to entire body and this whatever we write inside this table applies to table T head applies to T head T footer block now the T head colon hover background is turned to red and the foreground color to blue now the T foot 
background yellow t body here tr is contained inside t body tag that is tr colon hover apply this hover property to tr which is present inside t body tag that's it that's the difference the tr present inside t body so you need to give a space that's it and define your styling information inside this block that's it thanks for watching please share this video with your friends and please leave comment below this video and subscribe to technotip.org and technotip.com thanks for watching